Today here we've got a box of items purchased from uh, an online estate auction in uh, Indiana. And as often the case with online auctions, you may not be able to see all the items that you're receiving. You may just see a, a couple of uh, photos that show you some of the items. So I've purchased this box lot of, of items. I saw a few things that seemed to be potentially a Vietnam era US military pilot, maybe a Air Force pilot survival gear. So I went ahead and purchased a lot. It was $34 and it was about $30 for shipping. So total cost about $64. What I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and open the box. I just received it. I'm gonna take a look and see if it was a good deal or a bad deal. So let's take a look here. see what we've got in here. First item here is a it's a five quart uh, drinking water storage bag. This would have come from a survival kit and it's from uh, 1966. That's a good thing. We'll set that aside. The next item in here this is a, a bag that would have contained uh, you put all the survival components in there so that's, that's kind of interesting. We'll set that one aside too. And yeah, this here looks like just some junk, maybe some some camping camping gear or something. No value in that, so we'll just cross that aside. Well, here we got a couple of uh, single boat paddles from 1966. These would have been in a survival kit. They're still uh, new in the bag, and the manufacture date's January 1967. So we'll set those aside, that's good. And this here, this is what I had seen in the photos that led me to believe that there may be uh, some value in this lot. This would have come out of a survival kit also. It's a reversible sun hat. And they made these in, in World War II. And World War II ones were yellow on one side and olive drab on the other side, and in the Vietnam era ones were orange on one side and olive drab on the other side. So these would be for if a pilot was uh, was shot down or was another some other survival uh, area that they could uh, you know they could flip this over to the orange side so that they would maybe be visible from uh, planes that were out searching for them, and so. They've become, the value of them has really gone up quite a bit in recent years. So this one here is from 1966, so that's neat. That was what I had seen that led me to believe that this might be a good lot. Let's set that one aside. I've got a bag here of, of some straps. Something like Probably just some uh, junk that was thrown in. Let's set that one aside. Not sure what this is here. Let's take a look at it. It appears to be a, a small parachute that has like a collapsible metal frame in it. So not, not sure what that would be for. It does appear to be military. It's uh, made by the Pioneer Parachute Company, which I know they made some uh, parachutes in like World War II, and I think they still were making things in uh, in the 60s, but not quite sure what that, that could have been something that came out of a survival kit. It's kind of interesting. Set that aside. And here we've got a insect head net. This would be probably from about the same time period, you know, mid to late 60s. It's, it's interesting. We'll, uh, Set that one aside also. And here we've got a survival 
survival fishing kit. Uh, again, would probably be from the same time period. Probably all this stuff came out of one or two larger survival kits. So set that aside. Here we've got a bailing cup for uh, survival. It's a military issue. I don't see a date on that one, but it's interesting. Now here we've got, looks to be some wet weather gear, not military related, just something probably, I don't know, from the 70s or something. So no value in that. This must be the matching. The other one was the jacket and this looks to be the pants to, to match that, some rain gear. Oh, this is good. Here's another one of the uh, reversible sun hats. This one looks to be from 1966 again, so that's good. We'll set that aside. This appears to be like a canvas bag. Could be military related, probably no value in that. Throw that aside. Here we've got a gas mask bag. Military, but no value in that. And we've got another water water bag this one looks kind of beat up I'm not sure if it's could be military looks like it had some markings on it before probably not a lot of value because of the condition of it but we'll set it aside this here looks like uh, maybe a hammock again some kind of survival survival gear some other straps the Search and Rescue Survival Book. This probably would have been in the survival kit. Uh, let's see if there's a date in it. Looks like there's a change order in it from 1967. So that matches up with a lot of the other stuff seems to be from 1966, 1967. This looks like junk. It's like a label, label mattress. And let's see, oh, here's a camouflaged aviator first aid kit. So that's kind of cool, we'll set that aside. All right, well, let's take a look at what what the, the good items that were in this lot, or the worthwhile items. Uh, like I said, there's two of these reversible sun hats. The World War II ones, Seem to sell in the three to four hundred range, but since these ones are uh, Vietnam ones, like I said, because they've got the orange rather than the yellow on one side, and they've also got the contract dates on them from 1966. So these ones, the Vietnam ones, seem to really be going up in value the last few years. Uh, currently, it seems like the last few that I've seen were selling in the 200 to 300 range. So we'll say. 250 each. We'll just go right in the middle. So looking at $500 probably for those two. That's pretty good. Next we've got the camouflaged aviators first aid kit. And we'll take a look at it. See this one's from 1966. Everything seems to be 66, 67. All the components seem to be uh, new. have never been used or opened. So that's good. Not a lot of value in these. Uh, I seem to remember I've seen them for sale for $25, $30. The bailing cup, yeah, not a lot of value. It's pretty rough condition. And uh, I don't think they sell for a whole lot. Maybe $5 or something like that. The fishing kit, survival kit fishing kit. I don't know if they issued these for, our, for a long time that looked the same. So, not a lot of value in these. Maybe, let's say, $20, $25 for that. The insect head, head net insect. And this one, again, 1966. Everything's from 1966, but this is a really common item. I've seen a lot in surplus stores before, so not a lot of value. $10. Hammock. Probably not, not much value in that, you know, $10, $15. The 
this uh, water water bag. Looks pretty beat up. I think it I think it is military. Just the markings that you can barely see on there. Not much value in that. The search and rescue survival for uh, U.S. Air Force. Probably be best to just stick it with some of the other stuff because it's not going to have a lot of value on its own. The uh, survival paddles, maybe twenty dollars for those. The five quart water bag from the survival kit, not a lot of value, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Uh, the bag, I'd probably just sell this bag with some of the with the book and a couple of the other components. And then this little parachute, I'm not really sure what the value on that is. I'm really not sure what exactly it is, so I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But when we look at all this, like I said in the beginning of the video, I paid $34 for the lot, and it was about $30 for shipping. So in it for about $64. But if we look at the sun hats being $500, and the rest of this stuff, you know, another another $100 to one hundred and fifty dollars. So if you're at six hundred to six hundred and fifty, you know you're certainly going to make five hundred dollars in the end net profit. That's a pretty good return on a sixty-four dollar investment, I think. So that's it. That was everything that was in the box. If you've liked this video, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a lot of these videos showing. A lot of items found at estate sales, uh, online estate sales, in-person estate sales, uh, yard sales, those kind of things. And uh, I've got a lot of neat stuff going to show some really rare Vietnam stuff, uh, toys, comic books, military stuff. That's what a lot of the things that I go after. And uh, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.